Us showing signs of solidarity. The event in one hour to honor the life of an eight-year-old boy. And that is our big story tonight at five. The Sheboygan Falls community is remembering the life of an eight-year-old who was believed to be killed by his own mother. That mother is charged with his death. People close to her say the war in Ukraine actually could have played a role in the mother's mental state. Christina Benzels live in Sheboygan Falls for us tonight, where a vigil is soon to get underway. Christina? Yeah, the community is invited here to River Park in Sheboygan Falls for a candlelight vigil to remember the life of eight-year-old Oliver Hitchcock. That vigil is set to start at six o'clock, and some of the organizers are already here, and they're wearing purple as that was his favorite color. Now, Oliver's mom, Natalia Hitchcock, has been charged in connection to his death. The 41-year-old mom is also accused of trying to kill her other son. On March 30th, police found Oliver unresponsive at their apartment, and prosecutors said they found Natalia trying to cut her heart out with a knife. A witness told police the war in Ukraine had an impact on Natalia's mental health. She is from Russia and Hitchcock told police she was worried that quote she was being sold on the dark web and the Russian government was going to take her kids and abuse them. She did confess to suffocating Oliver and again tonight the community will come together to honor that eight year old's life. As for Oliver's mom she is due back in court on May 9th and we will be here for that vigil and we'll bring you the latest on what happens here later tonight on Fox 6 News at 9 and 10. Reporting live in Sheboygan Falls, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. We'll see you then, Christina. Thank you.